The new Apache AH-64E, one of the most advanced helicopters in the world. 14 of them are undergoing test flights at Watersham Flying Station. It has greatly enhanced connectivity across the battle space, so from the tactical all the way up to strategic assets can, uh, can integrate seamlessly via data. Um, the air crew have hugely um, increased situational awareness through a number of um, uh, capabilities on the aircraft. Uh, and, uh, and it can integrate widely across, dom widely across dom domains. And all of that combined with much better sights and sensors uh, and better weapon systems make it uh, much more lethal, survivable uh, and integrated across the battle space. 50 have been ordered in total to replace the Mark I. They're already in service with the US Army. It'd be like going from an iPhone 1 to an iPhone 13. Uh, overnight and so it looks the same, generally operates the same, but your ability to interface with the software takes some training and because software upgrades can happen really fast, you really have to stay on top of your game now. With a top speed of 186 miles per hour and carrying Hydra 70 rockets, Hellfire, Romeo and joint air ground missiles, they're a threat to any adversary. Oh, there's a clear message, which is that we will continue to invest in our defence forces. We had that extra £16.5 billion of expenditure above and already increasing uh, defence budget uh, last year. Uh, we are making the investments that we need in order to ensure that we have the deterrence and we have uh, weaponry in place that our adversaries take notice of. The remaining 36 Apaches are due to arrive by the summer of 2024. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Watersham.